Aotearoa's wahine Māori golf champ knows that haho pōro isn't for everyone. I understand that golf is boring sometimes. But that hasn't dampened Mia Scrimger's drive to succeed in the perfect game. She's had a dream for such a long time. I'm going to be a lawyer, I'm going to go to university in America, and that's always been my plan. Mia's made the cut and set to take off on the opportunity of a lifetime. Well, I'll tell you what, she said to mind to anything, she'll achieve it. Absolutely anything. 100%. Like, if someone tells me I can't do it, I'm like, well, I'm going to show you that I can. Yeah. Despite the grim forecast, it's full steam ahead for a charity golf fundraiser at Manor Park in Lower Hutt. 20 teams have ignored the conditions for a fun day out on the green. The fairways are pretty wet, the greens are pretty wet, but we're out there squeegeeing, making sure that people can still putt, which is awesome. So there's going to be a final, OK? The event has been months in the planning for 18-year-old Mia Scrimger. I'm just going to go drop mum out and then I'll come back. Is that OK? Cool. A fun tournament to help boost her coffers before she starts her studies at an American university. I have a scholarship, but it costs a lot to still even get over there. My flights and my accommodation trying to get there. Um, I didn't have a passport. So if we're trying to make the achievement and, you know, get ourselves through this, all we can do is support us, so that's what we want to do. It's very much a whānau affair, as Mia prepares to embark on her first trip out of the country. <laughs> really big move, going from lower heart to... America, <laughs> but I think it will be the best step and the best option for me. Mia started playing golf before she could reach the pin. It was on a weekend away with her father Rob that she would discover the sport. Family friend Danny Hedewini was also there. It was just a day out in Tauranga. The weather was a bit like this actually. Um, and her father and I thought it was a great idea. We had never touched golf clubs before. Um, Mia wanted to come along for the ride, and, uh, yeah, this is her now, I guess. Armed with good grades and a low handicap, Mia has scored herself a four-year scholarship at Missouri State University, where she'll play for their ladies' golf team. Like, I decided a little while ago that maybe being a professional golfer isn't something that I truly want to do. Just because I, you know, might not want to be a professional, I can still use it for, you know, academic purposes and open up other doors. And what she's chasing is a childhood dream of becoming a lawyer. I decided when I was seven that I wanted to be a lawyer. I just always stuck with that. She's always been pretty motivated um, and determined. We've tried to help her to understand how to break down a dream into smaller portions and then work towards it. Um, and because of her hard work and dedication, she's obviously achieving those now. Mia's spent countless hours at the driving range whilst juggling her school commitments. But although she slogged and sacrificed for her sport, she feels she hasn't missed out on a normal life. I think it was a really good balance. I played netball because I had always loved it. I coached it through high school. I had friends, you know, like I had a boyfriend at one point and I still wanted to be a teenager and experience everything as everyone else, but still be an elite sports person. But after 13 years on the amateur circuit, Mia says her passion for the sport waned, partly because of the pressure and lack of whanaungatanga. Golf is an individual sport, of course, but it doesn't have to be, you know, like you play team events, but yeah, it never really felt like team enough for me. So I think going to America where they're all about team, like yes, you're playing as an individual, but you help the team to win. Um, I think being in that type of environment where you are supporting each other all the time, yeah, will have a big, big effect. And yeah, hopefully I can love it again and yeah. And the competition where Mia really feels the love is the National Māori Golf Tournament. 
that was a big part of what grew my love for the game. And I think people don't know what happens throughout that week, how fun it is, the format and stuff like that. I absolutely love it. <laughs> She's won the tournament two years in a row, but wasn't able to make it a third after this year's competition was cancelled because of COVID. Yeah, it was pretty disappointing, not just because I wanted to win it again, but this is the last time I might be able to do it for, you know, at least four years while I'm going to be in America. Who knows what will happen in the States? Exactly. I'm hoping that I do love it again and maybe professional golf is, you know, something that I want to do, but at the moment it's not. Yeah. Go closer to the, see the little thing on the ground. Even though she's planned to study overseas for most of her life, Mia is under no illusion. She's going to miss hanging out with her whanau. Leave it in your jacket. Love. Like I think a home is, you know, where the people that you love are. But for now, she's focused on her American adventure and enjoying everything she has worked towards. Being over there, meeting new people, having opportunities that I would never get here and playing courses that you cannot play in New Zealand and, you know. With plans to hit the big time.